In this video, you'll learn how to use the basic knots we've already covered to hoist tools on the fire ground. There are two ways to hoist an axe or a halligan. One utilizes a clove hitch as its base, the other uses a figure eight. We'll discuss the clove hitch version first. We will start the clove hitch method by making two loops. Make sure you leave enough of a tag to act as a guideline for hoisting. If you are not leaving a tag line to guide the tool, the clove hitch must be backed up with an overhand safety knot. Put the two loops over the end of the axe and slide them up towards the head. Once the knot is in place at the head of the tool, loop it over the head and back up parallel to the handle. Tie two half hitches, the first at the midway point of the handle. Make the second at the end of the handle. Maintain tension on the rope and communicate to the firefighter above that the tool is ready to be hoisted. Use the tag line to help guide the tool up the side of the building. Remember, accidentally breaking a window could change a flow path and endanger firefighters and victims above. To utilize a figure eight for hoisting, tie a figure eight on a bite. Again, leave a long tail to use as a guideline. If you're not leaving a tag line to guide the tool, the figure eight must be backed up with a barrel knot. Keep the loop small. Slip it over the end of the handle and slide it down to the head. Continue around the head of the tool as we did with the clove hitch method, and then make a half hitch at the midway point and at the end of the tool. Maintain tension on the rope and communicate to the firefighter above that the tool is ready to be hoisted. Use the tag line to help guide the tool up the side of the building. To rig a pike pole for hoisting, start with a clove hitch around the butt end. Make sure you leave the tail long enough to act as a guideline. If you are not leaving a tag line to guide the tool, the clove hitch must be backed up with an overhand safety knot. Make a half hitch around the head of the pike pole and slide it halfway down the handle. Make a second half hitch and secure this one tightly around the head. Maintain tension on the rope and signal to the firefighter above that the tool is ready to be hoisted. To hoist a saw, we will start by ensuring that it's not running and the saw is in the off position. Create a large figure eight on a bite. Make sure you leave enough of a tag to act as a guide rope. Pass the loop through the handle and over and around the saw. Pull the line to remove any slack. Signal to the firefighter above that the tool is ready to be hoisted. To hoist a ladder, we will start by tying a large figure eight on a bite in the end of the rope. Make sure you back it up with either an overhand safety or a barrel knot.
place the loop through the ladder between third and fourth rungs. Pull the loop through and pass it up and over both beams at the tip of the ladder. Pull the line to remove any slack. Use a clove hitch and a safety overhand backup to attach a tag line to the bottom rung. It will be needed to control the ladder while being hoisted. Communicate to the firefighter above that the ladder is ready to be hoisted. Maintain tension on the tag line to ensure the ladder doesn't hit the building.